after being dumped. Oh, you never want to do that. When you do that, then they know that they won. What you got to do is you got to take the feeling, you got to push it down in you, you got to bury it. All right? And then you let it out slowly after six drinks onto unsuspecting strangers. That's how you do it. No, that's not what you do. What you do is reality. What most men, what you should do after being dumped is what you should do, what Chris Bosch did after they lost the championship that year. I think it was to the Mavericks. And he just dropped to the floor and he cried it out of himself. And everybody made fun of that guy. Do you realize how much more healthier men would be if we could actually do that? It would be absolutely horrific for women to see. And as much as they say they want to see it, they don't want to see it. You know what I mean? That'd be, that, that's like the, the, the male equivalent of watching your wife change higher. You don't want to see that. Just seeing her out there jacking up the car and maybe making a strong throw from third base. That's just some things that men and women, you think you want to see it. You, you don't want to see it. What if she grunt a little bit when she throw? Just fucking threw a laser, right? Ball takes a funny hop and she's still able to fucking fucking. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Not saying it's wrong. But there's just certain things. It's just that it just, you know, dries them up and sends us fucking, you know, pitching to the right or the left there. Old fucking Stan is down for the count, if you know what I mean. All right. Dear Billy Boy. Um. I actually used to say yawing to the left. I'm going to go aviation here. Uh, I am a 28-year-old dude. The beginning of the year was life kicking me in the nuts. My girlfriend, been together for 10 years, left me for some rich older fuck. Oh, man. Well, if you want to feel better about yourself, just listen to the eagle's lying eyes. You know? Because that's what the fuck she just walked into. Unless he's only a few years older. Um, But if he's a lot older, I mean, what the fuck? Come on, man. What kind of young woman wants some guy's dick coming at him with their fucking salt and pepper pubes? I mean, that's uh, no woman lays in bed dreaming about that. I can tell you that right now. All right. Needle, need, needles, needless to say. You wrote needles. Uh, needless to say, but I will. It got me absolutely heartbroken, depressed as fuck, feeling that I lost all my goals in life. Had to leave our apartment, which I renovated for us to finally be our no place like home place. Had to move for a while back in with my parents. That's always a hard time. Started hating my job. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Dude, what you got got going on here is you have a new beginning. All right? You got to understand, the kind of person that would leave you to go get with some rich older guy. I mean, I don't know anything about your relationship. I mean, it seems like you had a job. You renovated the apartment. You do seem like a motivated guy. Be one thing if you're sitting around in your ass... Look, if you're sitting around in your ass, you're not doing anything. You just, you cannot expect a woman to stay with you. You're fucking useless. As a man, if you're not providing, what are you doing? You, you're, you're just a big kid. They, they don't need that. You're 180 pounds of fucking excess weight just dragging them down to the ground. They got one life. They're going to go fucking live it. So, but you, you have a job. You renovated the place. You sound like a good guy. Granted, you're writing the email. Here we go. If it wasn't for uh, for the best friends in the fucking world, I don't know what I uh, I do. So it's been like eight months. Got my shit together. Lost weight. Started learning a new language. Here you go. Started studying, giving lectures in clubs, and banging a hot, smart, twenty-two-year-old girl. And that banging is the shit. He's saying here. Look at this guy. Turned his life around. Uh, you know, and I can tell you all your friends wish that they got dumped at this point, seeing you all of a sudden walking around like you're the new Johnny Bravo there. Uh, but the shitty thoughts about the ex still stir in my head. Well, it's natural, man. You, you were together for 10 years. Eight months later, you know, one 22 year old in a new fucking, uh, language. You still, you're normal. That's normal. He goes, I feel bad because all that crap lands on this new girl. Oh, dude, that's that's the first wrong thing you've done. Ten years of sharing experience is kind of hard to forget, and it always pops up. I'm smart and sensitive enough to know uh, what I'm doing is wrong. Well, there you go. Look at this. You're an evolved guy. Um, He says, although something inside says, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? You should never say that to her. Never compare her to the ex. Yeah, don't do that. Never demand something she can't deliver, but somehow I still do it to the new girl, and it hurts her. 
How do I get to stop being a douche to this chick? Well, step one is you're admitting it. And how about this? There's a huge difference between 22 and 28 in a level of maturity. 32 to 38, there's not that much different. But 22 to 28, you basically go from being a kid to being an adult. Um, even though legally you're considered an adult, that's a um, that's a huge difference, you know. I mean, if you're 28 years old, you go out on a date with somebody and you go, what's your major? That should be the beginning of when it starts feeling creepy. You know, it's, I don't know. I always did. I was just kind of like, oh, my God, this person's still in fucking college. You have a teacher in a semester. You know, what the fuck? I mean, just you can't even relate to it. Um, so how do you stop being a douche to this chick? Uh, I would actually sit down with her first off, and I would apologize for doing it. Um, that's the first thing you need to do. And get it out in the open and just say that, you know, I'm going to really work hard to not do it. And please call me out when I'm doing it. And I'm going to do my best to immediately stop it. Just know that uh, I'm coming down from a 10-year dump here. And I got it's going to take me middle a little bit. So if you can be patient with me. But the last thing I want to do is hurt you. And this is not fair to you. Um, that, that's the first thing I would do. Yeah, I would get her flowers and I would totally fucking apologize. Um, and be on my fucking best behavior, you know, for a while, man. Cause that's, that's a, it's a hor it's really a horrible thing to do, to take out your life on somebody else, take out your childhood and other people, which I did for fucking like 15 years, you know, it's bad. Remember that what was that fucking show with that guy? My name is Earl. You know, I could do that just with my fucking relationships with women. That was fucking bad. Um, anyways. All right. So I'm not saying I'm above you or anything like that. All right. See that? Put myself right on your level. I've done the same fucking thing. So um, if I could go back in time, that's what I would have done. If there was a podcast that I could have written to. But I did. I was in a vacuum. I was living in a podcastless world, walking around with my dick telling me what to do, mixed with my childhood. It was a bad recipe.